Hey guys, it's Sweet Viver. Welcome back. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. This one is quite an urgent video aimed to all the Pimax backers who has recently already received their Pimax 8K or 5K Plus headset. There is an issue with the latest PyTool version, which is of course updated automatically. So when you are starting off your headset, probably for the first time, you're going to encounter some problems that I haven't seen before at least. So I'm going to get guide you through some of this stuff that are wrong here right now. So don't get panicked if you just started off your Pimax for the first time. This is just about the latest update. There has been an update of PyTools from version 76 to 84. It was made yesterday actually, but I didn't try it until now. I updated it and also after the installation of the PyTool, there was a new firmware update who updated the firmware of the headset of course. Nothing has changed in the menus or the options, but there is a significant difference in how Pimax is now handling the resolutions with PyTool. Let me just give you an example. At PyTool at 1.0, the render quality slider and normal field of view, we have a totally different resolution now. It's 4600 times 3900. This is actually the resolution we were using with PyTool at 1.5 before. As you can see, SteamVR is recommending us to use a SteamVR super sampling at 42% only. This was definitely not the case with PyTool at 1.0 before. And this leads us to some problems. Uh, first of all, game related problems because there are some games that are not gonna, gonna even start in that high resolutions. And I'm gonna show you that in a moment. But first off, we're gonna go through a couple of the resolutions here. We have PyTool at 1.0 with normal field of view and this is the resolution. Of course we can lower the resolution down from 100% the SteamVR super sampling uh, by going down to 50% or even down to 20% and we get kind of a reasonable resolution maybe at 40% which was previously the PyTool 1 resolution, kind of. But the problem is that ever since PyTool 76, the resolution or the image quality is getting decreased quite a lot, going down below 80. Well, at least if you ask me. Uh, so I would not recommend going much lower than this. Anyway, we have a problem here. Let's try out another PyTool quality value of 125, and we're gonna start up Steam or restart Steam again because that's necessary to do between every change we made in the PyTool. So let's start it up again. And now we see a resolution using PyTool at 125 with normal field of view. We see a resolution of 5700 times 4900. This is quite a crazy resolution. SteamVR is recommending us to use 26% um, of the super sampling down here and it's kind of in the bottom and I would say that if you go down to this resolution it's gonna get really ugly looking unfortunately so yeah uh, not an option at all so let's go back to 100 and check out the PyTool at 1.5 which we actually could use with an RTX 2080 Ti for example to play some of the games and some of the games were actually fully playable but now look at the resolution here it's 6900 times 5,900, which is just crazy. SteamVR is recommending us to use a resolution of 18%, which is even below the limit we can actually put the SteamVR super sampling slider at. So if we go uh, out manual automatic mode and then turn manual mode, it's gonna end up on 20%. So yeah, really not optimal situation here, but it gets even worse. I'm gonna show you one more thing. Let's go back to render quality 1.0 and we're gonna put field of view to large and we're gonna restart SteamVR once again. And remember, this is necessary for all the changes you do in uh, PyTool. Let's turn it on again and uh, yeah, look at the resolution now using large field of view and render quality at 1.0. We have a resolution of 8,300 times 3,900. This is like an 8K resolution. Uh, well, kind of. <laughs> and it's, well, an, an RTX 2080 Ti heavily overclocked will never be able to manage it. And we are still talking about PyTool 1.0. I could just for fun 
put it to 2.0 with restart Steam VR once again. So using a large field of view, uh, render quality at 2.0, we get a resolution of 16,600 times 7,800. Is this 16K resolution? Uh, I think so, actually. And Steam VR is recommending us 6%. So here's the problem. We can, of course, go back to normal and the Python quality at 1.0 restart Steam VR and uh, well we could always hope that it's gonna work in games but the problem is that it's not working as it should let me give you an example I'm gonna start off Hellblade which I tried just yesterday when I did my video uh, about the benchmarking let's see what happens here Hellblade is starting but it's crashing immediately upon startup it's the Unreal Engine 4 crash uh, something about DirectX uh, 11 textures, probably it's just the resolution being too high. So there's nothing we can do about it. Game just doesn't start. Oculus, so I'm just gonna close it here. And uh, yeah, so maybe you may think, oh, why not just lower down the resolution? Well, why not just go down to 20%, the lowest possible? We're gonna get a very reasonable resolution, as it seems at least, 2000 times 700 or 1700. And uh, the recommended is 42 actually, so we're even going below the recommended Steam VR Super Sampling. Let's try Hellblade again. Problem is that uh, this is not going to work either. It's crashing. It's crashing once again. And this is a huge problem. And uh, we're going to do one more example. I'm going to quit Steam VR and I'm going to put it down to 0.75. In, uh, in uh, PyTool, start up Steam VR again. We're gonna check the resolution here. And of course we are at 20%, so let's put it at 100%. 3,400 times 2,900. That, that's about the resolution we had with PyTool at 1.0 before, or maybe that's 1.25 before. Well, something like that. Let's try out Hellblade again. We're gonna see if it even starts this time. So yeah, apparently the game now starts at least, as you can see. Let me just jump into the game for a second and show you how it looks. Okay, so we're now in the game and we are using Python at 0.75. We are having SteamVR super sampling at 100% and we have worse performance than we have in my benchmarks in my last video. We have an average FPS of around 72, but that's including menus and now, right now we have 65 frames per second, which I'm sure it's lower than we had before, or maybe the same. The problem is that it looks more blurry than it did with Python at 1.0 when I tried it doing the uh, benchmark. So performance has not increased at all. It looks like Python at 0.75 and not like Python at 1.0. So this is a problem. And also while going into the menu, I'm just gonna try that. It gets totally dark, I cannot see the menu anywhere. So yeah, <laughs> uh, we have a few problems with this version and I would seriously not recommend you to use the new PyTool uh, 84. Uh, so if you can go back to PyTool 76, you're gonna have much less problems. I can promise you, you're gonna get better image quality, you're gonna get better uh, frame rates even, and everything is gonna go back to normal as it was in my benchmark video, uh, well, in my last video I made. So yeah, this is really bad, and uh, I hope Pimax is working on to fix this as soon as possible. And yes, I know uh, this is not my job to do, but I think a lot of backers are starting to get the headset now, and uh, I think they might be very worried about this, both the performance, but also how everything looks. There is one more problem, and that is when you jump into the uh, SteamVR dashboard again, uh, just quit the game, Nothing looks as sharp as it did before with this Pytool 84 version. The clarity is just not there on the Pimax 5K Plus and it looks uh, slightly worse on the Pimax 8K as well. Nothing really looks as it did before and this is one of the reasons I'm really telling you to switch back, use the Pytool uh, 76 version, I'm gonna give you the link 
in the video description so you can just download the 76 version which works much much better than this this is very disappointing there must be something wrong with this update and uh, yes I think I've said enough for this time guys I really hope uh, this is gonna help you out especially you that just got your Pimax headset I, I, I can uh, I can imagine that you're quite frustrated right now or maybe disappointed as well especially at the clarity because nothing really is super sharp as it was before not even using Pytol at the 1.5 or even 2.0 and what's probably even worse is that if you go large field of view right now with this version everything is just gonna look very very blurry for some reason no matter if you use render quality at 1.0 1.5 or even 2.0 so there's just something wrong with the software don't worry about it they're gonna fix it also as a last thing you may know this already steam uh, or valve has introduced the steam vr motion smoothing which uh, is supposed to work as the asynchronous space warping but on the HTC Vive and the problem is here that we were probably expecting this to work on the Pimax but unfortunately it doesn't because the is not currently enabled the, the motion smoothing is not currently enabled uh, for the other uh, headsets such as oculus rift or windows mixed reality and therefore also not enabled when using pimax and i have not so far found any configuration file where i can change this to activate the motion smoothing or motion reprojection so guys i think this was it there's nothing more I can tell you now. I, I'm working on another video. Hopefully I'm gonna have that up for you uh, for Saturday at least. I'm gonna switch back to the Pytool 76 version or 10176. As you see here, 10176 instead of 84. And then I'm gonna try to do some new videos for you. But for now, thank you so much for watching and uh, please subscribe to my channel and also leave a like on this video if you found this video helpful. Thank you so much to all my Patreons and also to my official sponsors, Commander Darklight, Art Armin and VR Ambassador. See you in my next video. The next one is gonna get much better than this. Cheers guys.